Hi everyone, welcome back to Melody Crochet Nook. My name is Beth and today we are going to make a drop stitch scarf. Um, this is made on the Centro 22, so it is on the thinner side, but um, I can definitely show you the basics of how to do a drop stitch um, and how to make it look very cute. So <laughs> what I like about the drop stitch is that it's very airy and light and very summery. Um, spring time, summer time type of a scarf or if it was shorter, we could do a headband. Um, I guess I still could do a headband of sort. Um, so a scarf, headband, um, or a purse strap. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this. So um, I am using this, the Centro 22. And I'm also using Lion Brand Ice Cream, and this is in the color Mint. Um, so, let's just get started. Okay, so to get started on this, I am going to go ahead and start, um, I guess, weaving on the yarn. So you go in front and behind, and you alternate. And this is just the casting on part of the Centro. And just for the first round. Um, okay, so I have that done. And now I'm going to put it into, I'll try this one for now. Um, and I am using Lion Brand Ice Cream Big Scoop. This is a three weight. And I haven't tried this yarn on the Centro yet. But I think it will be just fine. This yarn seems to be working really well with the Centro. off what I do is I take a needle and I am going to start where I left off and then 
cast off every other. So I did this one, so I'm going to skip this and go here and here. So again, it's every other one. off which it did beautifully too all right huh. didn't mean to take that off quite yet I'm gonna tighten it just a little not all the way and then down on the opposite end I don't want to pull it too tight on the opposite end yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of stretch it out, flatten it out a bit, and now this is where I had taken every other one when I cast off, so now I'm just going to start to pull and see how it's starting to pull apart all of those drop stitches and that is what gives you the drop stitch scarf design so it goes from looking like this to looking like that I am just using the Centro uh, 22 for this. Um, it's what I have currently. And so it can make, I don't know, maybe like some bandanas or something. Not bandanas, um, headbands. And it's kind of more of a design for spring, it seems. And if I had like a larger one, or when I do get a larger one, I can see myself making like um, market bags and things like that. Oh, it looks like some is up here. That hasn't been dropped yet. Okay. And you can just have fun with it and out all those stitches <laughs> it's a really fun process actually um, so yeah it's a really fun process and I completely enjoy it <laughs> it's kind of therapeutic in a way <laughs> um, So now when you get to kind of closer to the end, you want to kind of be careful because like the last few stitches can easily come undone. Um, and I haven't mastered this part of it yet. So I'm just going to cinch all of that up and see what happens. Um, so I probably shouldn't have pulled all of that off yet, um, because it's starting to make 
more of it to come out. So here's this. Try to figure out which way it's going. Okay. So I'm going to try to find every other loop on this end. So I have four, five, six, seven, Yeah, see you all the way down here in this one. Right here. Eight, nine, ten. So again, you gotta be really careful at the end part because I don't want to drop any additional stitches. Here we go. So this part is a little messy. I think what I would do differently is just go through each of the stitches on the back end too. Um, and maybe just have it a little bit thicker there. And so you don't drop any of the stitches. Okay. So now we have that. All right, so thank you for joining me with um, the tutorial on how to do the drop stitch scarf. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, just fun to see the machine work up all of the stitches and then to be able to pull them out. And as you can tell, I'm still learning um, how to do the ends and stuff, but when you cinch it all up at the end, then uh, you can always add a pom-pom or tassels, uh, um, fringe at the end, and it would be just fine as well. Uh, or I know that there's different ways to crochet the ends. Um, I am still learning how to do the top and the bottom um, in a good way. <laughs> And I think what I'm going to have to start playing around with is using waist yarn. So that is yarn of a contrasting color before and after. So like you do 10 rows of the waist yarn on either end, and that way it gives you the definition that you need um, in order to find all of the stitches uh, to fasten off your project. So I think that's what I will do next time um, and if it comes out better then I will record that for you as well but anyway thank you for joining me um, and now for a verse um, let me grab my Bible Okay, so the verses that I chose for today is 2 Peter 3, um, verses 14 through 18. And it says, Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found in him in peace without spot and blameless, and consider that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you as also in his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which untaught and unstable people twist to their own destruction as they do also the rest of the scriptures. 
You therefore, beloved, since you know this beforehand, beware lest you fall from your own steadfastness, being led away with the error of the wicked, but grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory, both now and forever. Um, and this world, it is so easy to fall prey of wrong teachers, bad teachers, and false teachers. Um, there's definitely a difference between a false teacher and a bad teacher, but um, either way, what you hear from other people needs to be brought back to the Bible and what the Bible says. Um, so test what you hear to what God says in the Bible. Um, and because we know this, we know that people twist the word of the Lord to meet their specific needs, then we need to do our job as Bereans, as Christians, to take it back to the plumb line, take it back to what God's word says. Um, and just we can grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ um, for his glory. So, um, yeah, I hope you all have a great week and blessed day, and we will see you next time. All right, bye.